Hi everyone, welcome to my latest vlog edition. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a very important topic from the X-Men universe. Uh, it's called uh, the Legacy Virus. Now, all of us are watching news, all of us are hearing all different kinds of stories, developments, unfortunate developments, some good news as well about recoveries. But coronavirus that we see right now which is COVD-19, I think, if the correct term I'm pronouncing, it's a far bigger global pandemic uh, than we've ever come across in recent times. Uh, the last coronavirus that came in was almost like eight or 10 years ago. And uh, luckily it wasn't as, uh, as out of control as we find uh, the current uh, version of it. And while I was listening to the news or going through the tweets, that are talking about this particular virus, I, it immediately it brought back me, a memory of uh, something within the world of fiction, which was the legacy virus. Now, legacy virus, for those of you who are not aware of uh, the X-Men universe, it was a virus that made its appearance in the early 90s, uh, somewhere around 92, 93, uh, in X-Men comics. And it was something that would affect mutants initially, but later on it would uh, start to affect uh, normal human beings as well, people who without mutant powers. And it would ultimately result in their deaths. Uh, so I thought, why not show you guys uh, some of the essential storylines uh, that were that revolved to some extent around uh, uh, the legacy virus. Now, before I do that, I just wanted to give you a small uh, bit of background on the virus itself. This virus was developed uh, somewhere around the 30th century uh, by Apocalypse, and it was further developed by Strife. For those of you who are not aware of Strife, uh, he is the clone of Cable, Cable the character that we all saw in Deadpool 2. Now, De Cable, Strife, Apocalypse are actually beings from the future. Uh, now, of course, if I elaborate a bit further on this one, then this video will just, uh, this vlog will go off the track. But anyhow, C Cable, Strife and Apocalypse travel back in time, come to our 20th century, you know, serve their purpose. Uh, Cable is all about uh, salvation of mutant kind, whereas Apocalypse is about the survival of the fittest concept. Of course, the recent uh, storyline that has been uh, written by Jonathan Hickman uh, puts him in a separate place uh, for now. Uh, Strife, on the other hand, is a vengeful character who never forgave his, uh, his brother with Cable. Of course, he's a clone, but still he would consider uh, him, Scott Summers, and Jean Grey as his immediate family. So Strife basically brought this virus back in time uh, in the early 90s uh, and committed an act of bioterrorism. So this was the issue, Executioner's Song crossover, Uncanny X-Men, as you can see, the issue number, okay? And here we see Cable having shot Professor Xavier. It was, mind-blowing because nobody was expecting something like this to happen cable was a good guy uh, and it turns out that the guy who we see here as cable is actually strife because strife comes back in time and he commits an act of bioterrorism and he attacks professor xavier with a dose of legacy virus and that simply gets out of control professor xavier is, is showing no signs of recovery throughout the saga and uh, anyhow, later on, he survives, but thanks to Apocalypse, because he comes from, uh, Apocalypse is a being who travels back and forth in time like uh, Kang. So he knows what's, what's the cure, and Professor Xavier, eventually his life is saved. The most impactful issue for me from uh, the X-Men books was ab about the virus was this one. Now, let me give you a closer look. This is the 30th anniversary issue of the Uncanny X-Men, part of the Fatal Attractions uh, saga, X-Men 304. This issue follows issue number 303 
in which Colossus, the mutant whose skin turns into steel, uh, his sister Eliana, who is also known as Magic, loses her life to the legacy virus. And uh, at the time, uh, I was a teenager, so teenagers uh, tend to feel a bit emotional about their favorite characters. And uh, for me, even to this day, there is a strong personal connection uh, between myself and the X-Men family. So it was, you know, uh, very hard for me to swallow uh, that, wow, I mean, like, so someone would die in the comic book universe uh, because of a disease that resembles cancer, for example. And the story in itself was monumental. It led to a lot of developments within the X-Men universe, the storyline that emerged out of it, the, the, the multitude of cro crossovers that followed after that. They were just simply amazing. I mean, the stories, I can still cannot forget them. Uh, whether you're talking about uh, the Onslaught saga, whether you're talking about um, the Phalanx Covenant, not all of them were related to the legacy virus thing. But this particular, uh, these particular stories dominated the scene within the X-Men universe uh, from 1992-93 all the way to the mid of the uh, 21st century. Uh, uh, if any of you have read these comics, you can easily see how relatable it is to the corona uh, virus that we are facing right now. May, may the Almighty protect us uh, from this uh, virus. But, you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's, it's quite overwhelming to see, you know, sometimes people imagining stuff in the world of fiction and we come across something similar happening uh, in our real world, or sometimes exactly what is happening in our real world. The concept of cloning is quite old in the comic book industry. It was like, it dates back to the 70s when the clone saga in Spider-Man uh, was published. And, you know, in the early, 20, uh, uh, early 2000s or the late 90s, we come across uh, the first successful cloning of Dolly the Sheep and it tends to uh, frighten you in a way as well. Uh, of course, I'm an optimist in the way that I know that every disease has a cure. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I always wish that no one has to endure such a thing. So if you would like to read more about this, if you have any more questions about uh, which are the important issues in the legacy virus uh, related uh, storylines, feel free to share uh, share a comment and I'll be happy to uh, reply to those. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Hope you like it. Have a great weekend. See you again next time. Bye.